John and Linda Carney are so humble in the ways they give back that all I've heard about since we told him we were recognizing him tonight was how he didn't believe he deserved it. What I can say to this room tonight and to everybody who ever sees this video is in my time here, I haven't met anybody who deserves it more than John and Linda Carney for the way they show up for this community every day. And they've done it for decades. I'll tell you, it is an incredible honor. And I know my wife, to have her recognized is phenomenal because through my working career and extracurricular activities, she's put up with a lot and it means the world. From his career professionally in the organized labor movement and in the philanthropic work John's done with Linda's support, there's a common thread that weaves through all of it. And that common thread is about equity, it's about fairness, so that there's opportunities for everybody to thrive and everybody to flourish. You know, John's a guy who never forgot where he came from. The museum is listed as 264 Madison. I lived at 262. And then a fellow by the name of Nelson Rockefeller came into the picture and he declared it as the worst slum in the country. We didn't think it was a slum at all. I could go eight blocks in any direction and everybody knew each other. But, you know, my mom was my inspiration. I can remember as a little boy, as I grew, my mom would say, get your clothes, put them over in the corner there, and she would wash them and put them in a box and take them down the street to so-and-so. You know, that's the way the community was. We took care of each other. That's how I've come to know John over the last 30 plus years, taking care of folks, helping everybody, and still volunteering, and he's on so many different boards. We have a diversity of people who show up to be members of our board. We can count on some of them to write checks, which is helpful. We can count on some of them to show up at the events, which is also helpful. But what you can count on John Carney for is to do all of it. So his and Linda's commitment is unmatched. Back in 1956, John Carney set foot in a boys and girls club on Delaware Avenue. He was actually the first member our building had just opened. When I was five years old, I followed my brother. I don't know if they had a choice or not, but they let me in and I stayed ever since. He's been on the board of directors totaling about 16 years. Any special event or we have a basketball tournament or just coming in to talk to our teenagers about a career they might be interested in, he'll be there. They're providing the opportunities to kids that otherwise wouldn't have those opportunities. I know what it meant to me. Today, it's tenfold more important. He takes care of the Boys and Girls Club. He's on the United Way board. He does the veterans organizations. He does the Albany County Democratic Party. He's just a tireless worker. And I always laugh about people say he's retired. He's busier now than he's ever been. A heartfelt thank you, John and Linda, for everything that you've done for this community. John and Linda, I couldn't possibly think of two better people to receive this award. We're so fortunate to have been the beneficiaries of their passion and their commitment and their beliefs in giving back and making a contribution to something bigger than themselves.